So welcome back to another episode and this this is going to be a huge episode and it's been one that I've wanted to do for a very very long time. We're going to be talking about a certain game today and that game is Final Zone 2. Now this came out on the Turbo Graphics many many years ago in 1990. This game for myself is infamous. It's already made my worst video game box art. If you actually see that video, it's it's in there, it's up there. And also, years ago, I did this whole thing on really bad video game dubs. This again, was there. This game, when it first came out, made such an impact on me, it shocked me, in a way. I'd never played such an unusually terrible, horrible, fantastic game. Now, how can that be possible? A game is so bad in every regard, and this game is so bad in nearly every single regard. How how can it be good? Well, you know how you see a, a really bad, cheesy horror movie, a, a, a B-movie, and you get that kind of enjoyment from it because it's so bad, it's great? Same thing applies to Final Zone 2. Now, I've decided to go through this game level by level, scene by scene, and dissect it and explain all of its greatness to you, and all of its terribleness to you, because it's so damn funny. I, you couldn't make this by accident nowadays. It's just, it's so horrible. You, you have to wonder how this even happened, but it did. So let's get started. Now, Final Zone blasted onto the scene. Yeah, I did say blasted in 1986, and it was created by Wolf Team, and that was under a company called Telenet. And one of the first games that they were making was this game called Final Zone Wolf. They actually included the name Wolf in the title, which I thought was very, very funny. And this game was out on the PC-88 and on the MSX. The game is a very basic Commando, Ikari Warriors style action, overhead, shoot 'em up type of game. But it's really bad and it's hardly worth mentioning, just only, I think, for historical purposes. Now, the game didn't do very well, but we got a sequel in 1990 on the PC Engine CD-ROM by Reno, or Renovation. And this was under Telenet as well. Wolf Team moved on to another game. Now the game is very much like Final Zone Wolf, but this time by being on CD-ROM, we can fill it with cinemas. We can fill it with incredible music and dialogue, and they do none of that here. They fill it with some terrible cinemas, some horrendous dialogue, and some unusual music. Now the Turbo Graphics had launched in America, I had got one for Christmas. I had the CD-ROM attachment. I was very, very excited to get any game on it. Where a game finally came out. Final Zone was ported over to the Turbo Graphics, And I guess I was really excited. Now I had seen screenshots in magazines, but I had no idea really what to expect. And I had no idea what I was about to experience. The first major shock is when I bought it, in the store and it came in a brown paper bag and I went onto a bench outside of the store and I wanted to have a look at it. Here's the ma first major shock. I opened it up and I looked at the box art and I couldn't believe how terribly bad it was. I, Cause it was up on the shelf, they brought it down. I couldn't really see it. When I was up close looking at it, I was like, what the hell happened? Where, you know, I had not no reference to judge from. I just knew that this wasn't very good. Now, years later, I got a chance to see the Japanese uh, box art, which is a lot better. And I, I'm kind of sad we never got the Japanese box art, but this has become the stuff of legends. Oh my god, the Final Zone 2 box art. Worst box art in history, it's quite up there. I brought the game home, I took the CD out, put it in my CD-ROM player, press play, and I'm treated to a satellite or a space station just sitting there with this humming going on, and I'm thinking, is there something wrong? What's going on? It's just, is, is there something wrong with the CD-ROM? I, I, I thought there was something wrong with the game because it just is paused in that image for so long. Now we cut to some soldiers in armored suits, and this is where the terrible dialogue begins. Our mission is to put down the rebel army which has captured the scientific weapon Walkure. In five minutes, we will be passing over our dropping point. Get ready for descent. So we're introduced to Colonel Bowie, who is blasted into space. And I gotta say, what was so funny back then is, 
some of the imagery of some of the soldiers floating in space, like they have their arms blasted off. I, as a kid, I was like, oh my god, that's that's pretty gruesome, man. It's really, really funny to look back on now. Then we are treated to one of the holy gems of this game, the title sequence. When I first saw this, I was like, is this for real? This music? This is the craziest song I have ever heard. For a video game, for a video game intro, it's surreal. So now our characters finally land on Earth. Uh, where am I? So, only six of us survived. Oh, oh. Here come the rebel army soldiers. There's no damage on the weapons. Let me show them some fancy action now. Let me show them some fancy action now. <laughs> that has got to be one of the most quotable lines in the game and I've, I've quoted it for years. I just think it's fantastic. Now the game begins, the very first level. You start as Colonel Bowie and you're blasting through the level in your mech suit. Very standard fare, just taking out soldiers and going through the forest and all that, and, and that's just kind of average. That is until Bowie runs into one of his old friends, Bomber, who is dying on the battlefield. And oh my god, just, I gotta say, they, they figure out that they've been double-crossed and it's, and it's, you know, it's supposed to be the sad moment, and it is so cheesy. Someone's trying to get you. Me? Who? Who knows? You are an able officer. There might be people who would hate you just for being so good. What are you saying? I'm just a soldier. I've never done anything to make enemies. You would say that. My eyes are failing. I'll be happy to die by your hand. I can see the Joker laughing. Bomber. Oh my god, that is just so cheesy, horrendous, I... Ah. Now we cut to another character, Major Hannah, and she's looking for Bowie as well. And she gets to have her amazing, quotable line. Damn you, bastards of the Confederate forces. Now we begin her level, and it's, it's kind of like Bowie's opening level. It's very average, the music is average, there's nothing really uh, that stands out about it. You're fighting more soldiers, so you get through that. Now in the cinema department, we cut to another character that we don't know about. Running out of a building, he's getting chased, he gets into a helicopter, and he takes off. Boom! We're into what would seem like a brand new overhead style game. It's a helicopter. Shoot him up all of a sudden. So you're going overhead in this helicopter and you're just fighting other helicopters. That's just kind of what's going on and I remember playing at the time going, what the hell just happened? I mean, they're in these mech suits, now I'm flying this hella helicopter. It was kind of cool that they broke it up, but it was very kind of unusual. But the music for that level is very, very catchy. Now we go into a flashback of Colonel Bowie and a character, a brand new character being introduced, Momoko. And they are married, it would seem. And she does not want him going on this dangerous mission. I've had enough of war. Why don't you stop fighting? Someday, you'll end up like my brother. <coughs> Bowie. 
I couldn't believe he slapped her. I remember the first time I played it, I was just like, oh my god, what the hell did he just do? He just pulled a Sean Connery. Just boom! All she cared about, you know, was, you know, that she didn't want him dying like her brother. What does he do? He slaps her across the face. What an asshole. Now we're introduced to a brand new character, Hanson, and he's with Momoko, and they're in some military style warehouse. And this is where we get to find out what the powered suits are called. They're called NAPs. And we also find out that Momoko's brother is not dead. Now we can select from two characters. We can select Hanson or Momoko. Now, more fucking crazy music. This level music is totally over the top. It's... I remember the first time I played it, I had to pause the game. I was like, this is not again. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. It is happening. The craziest song. So over the top, I mean, they must have just created this for the American release, right? Wrong. And they tried to be so true to the Japanese version that they redubbed it in English using the same song. It's crazy. Now, Major Hannah finally meets up with Bowie. Now we have a jetpack through this level, and it's really just like the first level all over again. The music is the same, very average, very blah. We finally run into Colonel Verda, who is Momoko's brother. He finally makes an appearance. And we find out about this mad scientist called Aleph Ruman, who developed this big machine at one point, this big uh, you know, weapon system. But it was just, and, and he was testing it. He was trying to show the military how amazing this thing was. And Colonel Bowie destroys it and embarrasses him. And he can never get over this fact. So now he vows to kill Bowie. That's his life mission. That's the only thing he's got going on in his life. He can just build a better machine, you know? That would be crazy to do. Then boom, we're at the second to last level of the game. Yes, I know already. And Verda is going through this level and he's just slicing everything up with his beam cannon. Now for the sake of the story, there's a lot that's going on in this bit and I, I'm gonna make you suffer. I'm gonna make you watch it because that's half of the insanity of this game. These cinemas. This is what happens when all of the characters finally unite and finally have a conversation. Hi Momoko. You came along too? Why didn't you tell us? Do you know how much we suffered because of what happened to you? Hanson, why are you here? And Momoko too. I thought you'd send me away if I came alone. Bowie, I see you got caught up in the Zod's game. What kind of a weapon is it? It's an apparatus for producing bioweapons. It was developed to fight against naps. Against naps? You mean we're being manipulated by weapons that they have made? From the outside, this may look to you like an ordinary control tower. But in actuality, it's a breeding plant for bioweapons. There are hundreds of biomonsters ahead of us. I don't particularly like the sound of these monsters. That's too bad. But don't worry. There are more than just bio monsters. The guy who tricked us is hiding somewhere. You mean Aleph Ruman? Well, that's more interesting. I've wanted to see what that dirty old man looks like. Ruman? Colonel Bowie, it's your turn now. I'm sorry. I led you into this. We like doing this. We're even grateful to you. Aren't we, Hanson? That's right. Round seven begins. Now we fight the evil bio monsters that Aleph Ruman has created. And they are evil. Then it's on to the final bio boss. Upon its defeat, 
we are treated to a very awkward scene with a gun. That's what you should have done in the beginning. <laughs> and that's what you should have done in the beginning. Another wonderful quotable line from this game. The nice music plays. We're treated to cutscenes of where the characters are at now. Bowie and Momoko get in a helicopter and blast off into the sunset. The end. And the game only took one hour to beat. Under an hour. It's very, very short. Oh my god. Final Zone 2. One of the greatest worst video games of all time. Without a doubt in my mind. I, I played a lot of games in my time. But Final Zone 2 is just up there in the best worst games. There's nothing that's even in this league. Actually there is, but I'm saving that for another time. Also... <laughs> After Final Zone 2, there was another game that came out by Wolf Team, the original team that created Final Zone Wolf back in the day. And that came out on the Mega Drive and on the Genesis. And I will talk about that in the future. So anyways guys, I just wanted to talk about some of my experiences and show you the game, Final Zone 2, so you could suffer it as much as I had to back in the day and love it as much as I did. So anyways guys, until next time.